In five seconds, you will experience Hi there guys, it's uh, UKHHN AK Neil with another video. It's not general Halloween rights video, this is just going to be a um, generic video. I haven't done a video in a month so just thought I'd uh, get on, have a chat, talk about what the kind of um, the rumoured house lineup is, which a lot of people will know if they've read on overnight updates. What I've been up to uh, with scare attractions wise etc and uh, just a few things that I've bought recently. Um, which is a bit of a bit of Lego here and there, and yeah, just a, a general video. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, try not to bore you too much, but yeah, Halloween Horror Nights, the rumored house lineup is obviously what a lot of people will know as being Aliens vs Predator, Halloween. We know the Walking Dead's there. Um, Dracula Untold, Dust Till Dawn, a TV show. And then obviously the the boogeyman, um, like a kind of, not El Cucu, but a boogeyman house. Um, then a, a haunted doll house, like a possessed doll, and obviously a clown house. So that's the rumored house lineup. Uh, scare zones, Voodoo Scare Zone, The Purge in New York, uh, a Geisha Scare Zone, Sting Alley. Um, I probably missed something out somewhere. Uh, there'll be, I'm trying to think what the other ones were, there was a couple more, but yeah, it's 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 kind of been general knowledge on Horror Night Updaters, uh, Horror Night Nightmare, sorry, not Horror Night Updaters. Um, yeah, that's so that's the lineup. Does it get me blood pumping? No, um, it doesn't. I'm hoping that kind of, I think last year's house lineup was probably one of the best we're ever going to get all round. Um, it's going to be hard to top it. The Walking Dead has now kind of become the outside of water going most, which is strange. Aliens vs Predator and Halloween, yeah, kind of getting. Halloween, I've just got kind of feeling me, even though I love the films, it may turn out like the Friday the 13th house, which was at 17, HHN 17, which was obviously in the far corner where Souls and Steams was. Uh, didn't really like the house. Um, yeah, I love the films, obviously, so yeah. Uh, Walking Dead I was now turning to the outside what I look at. <laughs> so, what have I been up to <laughs> considering I haven't done a video for a month? Uh, good question. Um, I've been doing this here. It's called, if you can read that, Horror Camp Live. Um, it's an overnight camping horror experience. Uh, I've played a couple of characters now. Um, it's uh, It's... It's an 18s, well, over 18s only scare attraction. Um, it's quite physical. I mean, obviously, there's, there's a lot of content in there that is not for kids. Um, we can actually touch people. We can actually grab them. Um, forceful. We can. Uh, I've had someone actually say the safe word because they were scared when I was going to put them in there. In, in something. I won't say what in case anyone wants to watch the video and does want to go. Um, so yeah, as you can kind of see, you can see the size of the script and everything. Everything's in there. This is the full treatment. So I've been learning that script um, and the job to go with it. Also, I put all my scripts onto air, um, and this has got a script for something I'm called called the Labyrinth of Invention, which is at Farnborough Air Show, which is not all related, but it's another attraction where people pay to go in. Um, the script is really quite detailed, so I'm getting to grips with that at the minute. The with, way with delivery and obviously the accent I'll have to do because it's an old pilot. So I should be talking like Teleho chaps, which is obviously, it's, I call it a triangle when I'm acting. You have 
the script, you have the delivery of it, how certain parts get delivered, and then you have the accent. So it's like a triangle, and you do one part at a time, and then if you get a complete triangle, well done. The way I'm going at the minute, I'm crashing and burning, but I should be all right by the weekend. And uh, I do the one on the air show in June, oh, what week am I? Next, uh, next weekend, I think it's July 19th and 20th. Uh, or camp live i'm actually doing as we speak it's on weekends it's on saturdays it's throughout i'll leave the website link in the description check it out uh, check out fan Bray show check out scare kingdom um what are the other places the actor obviously i'll be straight into that as soon as i come back from halloween all right this year so it's it's getting to the point now where um, and it's going to be quite full on. Now, another one of my things is I love two of well, these things I bought. Let's see. Got your Ghostbusters Lego um, 30th anniversary edition. Absolutely amazing. I, I've unopened it and it's going to stay unopened. I don't. I uh, collect all sorts of action figures unopened and it will stay like that. But also this one, Back to the Future. Um, absolute great little set now the thing about the future uh, if anyone does know there's an event where they're recreating Hill Valley from the 80s and 1955 a secret cinema event which me and my wife will be going to um, which is for our anniversary and slash my birthday so can't wait for that. We've just got the e you start getting emails from them um, as if it's real, uh, telling you about Hill Valley and uh, telling you about the they're going to be the um, enchantment under the sea, is it? If I remember rightly, please correct me if I'm wrong. The uh, prom dance at the end, they're going to recreate that and you can have a dance and a drink. Um, so, yeah, can't, uh, can't wait for that. That's August the 10th. So, it's, it, like I say, it has been full on. Um, just been Aura Camp Live, when I do that, I actually get home at 4am in the morning, or leave Aura Camp Live at 4am in the morning after being there from about uh, 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Um, it's a long, long night. Worth it, it's great. I, I, I can't really say much about it without giving anything away. Um, it's, once this season's over, I should be able to talk about it, but obviously it's still on at the minute, right up until September the 13th, even right, which will be... Um, obviously a week or two just before I go to America so yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be full on so yeah that's, that's just obviously what I've been up to at the minute uh, Halloween All Nights the announcement should be I think we may have an announcement this week uh, this weekend I think Hollywood's on the verge of making an announcement uh, this, uh, there's a, a, few, a few pictures of construction there's one where it looks like now it's um, the facade of Michael Myers' house or Laurie Strobe's house, I should say, <coughs> going up. So obviously, because Halloween is in a tent. Um, yeah. So the event Halloween on nights, obviously, I think sometimes we hear too much a little bit too early because we all go on this mad run um, of wanting information, wanting it there and then. And we're all like looking, it's like June, um, we want information and the event will start really for another three months. And last year we got it really quite early and it, it, it kind of, uh, the anticipation builds up, builds up, you wear the houses and then it just starts, you know, descending, the excitement just, be, just before the event, which is, it's a, you know, it's a shame really. It's, it, I would hope next, next time, we don't really hear anything until about, it'd be great to not hear anything until August uh, because it builds up the anticipation and obviously you wait it late, the late you wait it, the, the more sight you are for the houses. Uh, this year's run, it, it there's nothing really catches my eye as a, something that I really want to go in. Usually there's an house like American Wealth in London, a cabin in the woods. Um, that makes me want to go in the house first. Well, it's this time, um, there's not really a preference, I'll go in any. Walking Dead's probably the main house for me that I'd probably want to go in, which has kind of shocked me a bit. But I can, um, I'll just say, I think, I think it'll be a good event. 
but is there anything that makes me really, really want to go into the uh, event? Um, well, as an all, I want to go to it. There's not one else that make that make me want to go to the event. If that makes any sense, I've got, I love the event. Uh, the lineup of the houses, if that's correct, Aliens vs Predator Halloween. Also, like the franchises, it's whether they can pull it off. I would have preferred Alien rather than Alien vs Predator, but no, that's just me. So, uh, stay tuned. Any more updates? I'll throw them out there. They'll I'm sure they'll start coming again, doing the reveal for the houses, scare zones, etc. All the official stuff, anyway. Um, scare acting wise, you know, it's coming thick and fast again. I'm absolutely exhausted at the minute, having um, work, scare acting, learning scripts, going to meetings um, for uh, shows, and um, obviously. Having a life and having a child and you know fitting everything in, it's I'm blessed really, because um, I'm getting doing doing something uh, as well as my job, which I'm appreciate to have, and I get paid for it. I mean, obviously I get paid for the scare acting. Um, I really appreciate it. Appreciate let them let me do it. Um, it's something I always wanted to do. Didn't have a clue how to get into it. And, uh, I appreciate it. I, I really do. Um, and you know I, I hope they appreciate the, the effort I put in as well but if any is out there ever getting scared at anything uh, if you're in the UK um, atmosphere you know go onto their website um, they'll, there's uh, attractions up and down the country now it, more and more people are around to run their events um, great run business uh, the producers fantastic and yeah just, uh, just make sure you check out the events they do um, I'll start updating. It's a bit strange because I was going to do UK aunts updates, but I thought it's going to be a bit hard. Um, can't really update on on my own company's events because I obviously know what they're doing. Um, so I don't really want to say anything. But this year's event, Scare Kingdom, check out. Um, I'm not too sure if they've announced the. Um, I think they have announced them actually. Is that there's a? I don't know what I'm going to say is is um. A kind of a maze called Alcatraz, and it's, it's gonna be amazing. Man of Mortis is is up there with something you could see at Halloween Horror Nights. I'm not just saying that; it's uh, a, just a purpose built, um, like a like a. It's kind of like a sound stage. It is. It's just it's built. It's amazing. If it was that, if that Orlando, everyone be saying it's great. It's that good. It's that detailed. Um, I can't without seeing it for your own eyes. I can't say how good it is. But uh, Alcatraz is the one that kind of um, this year that I'm looking forward to seeing. Uh, I'll talk more and more about it as the event comes closer. But uh, at the moment, check out atmosphere.co.uk. Um, make sure you come see me at Oracle Camp Live. I kind of won't tell you what role I am because that would give it away. Might be able to tell about the accent. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. More videos, more Are We In Alright's update videos, more UK aunts updates more updates if i'm getting any more sleep um not anything else but yeah just enjoy it guys take it easy and uh see you later bye